Welcome to JazzTime. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so customers like you can choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at JazzTime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 36 Reference 116000. I'm going to talk to you guys about the case, the bezel, the dial, the bracelet, try it on and give you my thoughts. Let's dive right in. First things first, what size is this? It's an Oyster Perpetual 36. As the name implies, it's 36 millimeters. From my thumb to my index finger, that's the diameter across this thing, not including the crown. They make this watch in 36 millimeter, also in 39 millimeter. I think also 31 or 30. Uh, anyways, go look on the uh, jazztime.com and see the rest of the sizes. This one would be a 36. Okay, it's a monoblock middle case with a screw down case back and winding crown. What does that all mean? Basically it means this case, the case being the thing that houses the watch, this part right here, is all monoblock, meaning one singular piece of steel, the part right here. And it has this part right here, which is the screw down case back that keeps it watertight and there's a gasket between it. Does that make sense? And it has a screw down crown. That means this part right here, if you actually leave it open, obviously water can get into it. That's why it has a screw and it actually has a gasket and a tube. If you've ever opened one of these, which you probably haven't, but I'm telling it to you right now, that's how you keep it watertight by simply screwing in this crown. It's actually also how you adjust the time. Okay, now let's move on. Now that I've told you it's made of oyster steel, also known as stainless steel. The bezel, now the bezel is this part that goes around right here. It's made of, as you might guess, oyster steel. It's actually stainless steel. It's Rolex's fancy name for it. Now the bezel pops on straight on top of the crystal and actually also keeps the watch from uh, being, it keeps the watch being watertight. Okay, and it's kind of domed. Okay, and what do I mean by that? Or what does Rolex mean by that? It has a little bit of curvature as opposed to being completely flat or smooth. And they do that to keep the proportions nice. As you can see, the proportions look quite nice. Now let's talk about uh, the movement here. Well, let's say quickly, the screw down crown is a twin lock double waterproofness system as I alluded to earlier. And it also has a scratch resistant sapphire crystal. So this crystal right here, listen to this. See how it's kind of like a thud? It's not like ding, ding, ding. It's more like duck, 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 like a, a hard, okay? That's because it's sapphire and it's also scratch resistant and it's waterproof to 100 meters, probably 100 meters than you will ever dive with this watch. Now let's talk about the movement. It's a perpetual mechanical self-winding caliber 3130 manufactured Rolex with a precision of plus minus two seconds a day after casing. What does that all mean? It means it has a really kick ass movement. It's going to last you a very long time. You're not going to have any problems with it. Um, and you probably only need to service it between every five and 10 years. If even that I've seen Rolexes go for much longer. It has a pair of magnetic blue parachrome hairspring. I'm sure you don't know what that is. Actually, I didn't know until I opened these things up and look at them but it's uh, a really fancy little thing inside the movement that is really awesome. It has a power reserve of 48 hours, meaning you can put it down on Friday, pick it up on, uh, I guess that would be Sunday, and it will still be ticking and keeping good time. Now let's talk about the bracelet. What do I like about this bracelet? Well, everything. I like that it has, it's very fluid. Check this out. Well, that didn't look so fluid, but try check this out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very fluid and it's a oyster bracelet. They make two versions of this, not on this watch, but Rolex in general makes two versions, which is oyster and Jubilee. The oyster is flat three piece link, which I like. And it, in this situation, it's brushed. Now you see how it's like all satin finish. Well, this is good because it makes it more durable, less scratch. It's more scratch resistant. All right. That I think is a pretty cool thing. 
And let's talk about the clasp. But the clasp, they call it an oyster clasp. They also have called the same clasp a folding oyster clasp. Folding for because it's folding. And here's how it closes. Kaboom. Now check out the logo. Now, if you notice something about the logo, it's actually like, uh, it's not raised. It's actually indented. Look at it closely. It's actually like engraved into the steel. Now, I have no idea how you can get a machine to do that, but if you look at it with a loop, it's actually perfect. Absolutely perfect. And I guess if you're going to make your logo, you probably would make it perfect, right? Okay, anyhow, look. I said I'd talk to you guys about this and give you my thoughts. Now, me, being a man, I really enjoy blue. Uh, I'm not sure if a woman would enjoy blue so much, but I think it's a good size. And I like how it luminesces, which I'm trying to show you right here. It's one of the few watches that have this 369. It kind of looks like the Explorer, except the Explorer is, thir is 39 and this one's 36. So if you were thinking, hmm, I don't have the biggest wrist, but I do like this style and the Explorer is, you know, a little bit not what I want. You could try to get this watch which is 36 millimeter. Now keep in mind, I'm actually making this video on a Saturday afternoon and we're doing this for the purpose of you sitting at home so that you can look at this video, decide that you like it, and go to jazztime.com to buy it. Yes, we're actually making this video for customers like you who are thinking to buy this watch. So we don't want you looking at this video and then going somewhere else to buy it. That would kind of defeat the purpose of me sitting here on Saturday afternoon and doing this video for you. So if you like this watch and you want to get it at the lowest price anywhere online, go to jazztime.com. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on the mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.